was June 11, 1864. The Confederate cavalry under General Thomas Rosser surrounded General George Custer and his men. A six-hour battle ensued. They suffered 416 casualties. Custer sustained minor wounds. His headquarter wagon was captured by Lieutenant Frank Blair and his personal items were sent back to Texas as war trophies. The military correspondence was sent to Richmond and love letters from his wife Libby were distributed in the South. The Trevelyan collection containing Custer's wedding uniform, travel bags, field desk, and presentation sword made by Tiffany's and presented by the 5th of Michigan has remained intact for over 150 years. Also included is General Blackmar's diary with an original letter by Libby thanking him for retrieving the stolen love letters. Over the past 15 years, the collection has been rotated between the Custer Battlefield, Monroe County Historical Society, and the Civil War Museum in Harrisburg, with over 2 million viewers. It is a shared opinion that this is the most historic and important collection of Civil War items to surface in this century. Cisco's is honored to have the collection on display through September. We are also sponsoring a presentation by David Ingle, a leading authority on Custer. There will be two topics, General George Armstrong Custer and the Civil War, the Forgotten Custer, and the Battle of Little Bighorn, the real story. The presentation will be held at the Coeur d'Alene Resort on September 23rd and 24th.